Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dom and today we are going over some helpful tips for Siri dictation. And if you have that little button down there by the space bar on your keyboard, you do in fact have Siri dictation and you can make typing a heck of a lot easier depending on how you use it and if you're using it correctly. There are actually some pretty cool commands you can use while you're using Siri dictation to make the process a bit easier. So we're going to go over some of those today and also be sure to drop a full list of the commands for Siri dictation below so go ahead and check that out as well first thing we're gonna look at is all caps saying all caps while using Siri dictation will capitalize the next word in the sentence when you're using it here so let's go ahead and try this out here hey what's up all caps how are you doing so see I said all caps and then how was all capitalized just like that it's pretty simple now, if I wanted to add, say, a question mark to this, I could just simply say question mark. Question mark. Put that on the end right there. And we can continue using some of these cool tips here. Let's go ahead and create a new paragraph. New paragraph. I was going to the grocery store today, period. So as you can see there, I added a new paragraph. Alternatively, we can just add a new line. New line. Thank you, exclamation point. Just like that, and I know none of this really makes sense, but you can see how Siri dictation can make your typing a lot easier if you're using it properly. Now, there are quite a few different commands here that we can use, such as all caps, uppercase, caps on, no caps, numeral, and numeral is one of my favorite ones here because when you're using dictation and you say a number, it defaults to the number spelt out as opposed to the numeral for the actual number you're saying. So let's check this out here. Do you go to work five days a week? Question mark. So see how five is kind of spelt out like that? Let's go ahead and try it again using the numeral command. Do you go to work numeral five days a week? Question mark. There you go. As you can see, same exact thing was said. We just added numeral in there before we said the number and it actually put the numeral here. So I think that is a pretty cool little feature. That's probably one of my favorite. Also, just in case you were curious, all these commands that we're going over do work on the Mac as well. If you're using dictation on a Mac, they do work exactly the same way. Now, if we say something like caps on, it's going to capitalize the first letter of every word in the sentence. So let's go ahead and try that. Caps on, hey, comma, how are you doing today, question mark. So as you can see here, the first letter of every word in this sentence is capitalized, and that is what caps on will do if you use that command in front of or at some point in a sentence. You don't have to start out a sentence by saying one of these commands. You can do it anywhere within the sentence, and iOS will intelligently pick up that you are actually using a dictation command as opposed to writing out the actual word. We do also have commands for removing spaces between the words you're saying, and you can just do that by simply saying no space. So let's go ahead and check this out. Hey, no space, how are you doing today? When I said no space, it actually merged hey and how. Now that really doesn't make sense, but you get the point here. And we can also turn on no space to do something like say enter a password. Let's go ahead and try this out using the command no space on. Hey, what's up? Question mark. No space on. How are you doing today? Question mark. So no space on will wrap whatever comes after that command into a full word like that. And you can actually turn that off in the middle of a sentence simply by saying no space off. So let's go ahead and try both of those commands here. Hey, what's up? Question mark. No space on. How are you doing? No space off today. Question mark. As you can see right there, it simply removed and inserted the spaces exactly where I wanted it using those commands right there. Like I said, I'm going to drop a list down below with the full set of commands that you can use in iOS and OS X if you're using dictation. These were some of my favorite ones, some of the ones I used the most, and some of the most helpful ones. Go ahead and check it out, and please let us know what you think down in the comments below. Thanks again for watching, everybody. This is Dom from AppAdvice.com, and have a great day.